Welcome back, I am Dr. Ruckus, and today we are playing Demir Super Friends in Mythic Top 600 Standard, something like that. A uh, pretty straightforward deck, just got a lot of Planeswalkers in here. We are running Drown in the Iker, which is a removal spell that also proliferates, and Experimental Augury, which is like a Scry 3 draw 1 with Proliferate, as well as Drag to the Bottom, our Sweeper of Choice in this color combination. It's definitely not perfect, but at least with a single basic out, you do give everything minus 2, minus 2, which sweeps up lots of stuff, and if you have one of your Trilands out, then you're looking more at something like a minus 4, minus Sweeper, which is quite good. Last time I ran the deck, I was running Spell Pierce in the one drop slot, either three three to four of these guys because um, Invoke Despair was still the five drop of choice, but with that banning, we now get to run four copies of Cutdown, which is much better against most of the meta. Anyway, that's the deck. Enjoy the gameplay. Let's dive right in. On the play. Yeah, we can try this. Land and removal against number 111, Mythic. Okay, land for turn. Azorius. Hmm. Okay. So be it. Do nothing. We'll still run make disappear. Probably. Okay, maybe it's just a tap land now. We have a lot of land. We could cycle that later though. Let's try just the foundry here. Maybe we'll cycle this in lounge actually. Alright, they deploy the Jace. They have to plus though, because Mistress find they minus. Okay, we can just power up the foundry then. Cool. Take the cycle. Drag to the bottom. Not useful in this matchup. But we can just power up the Mistress Foundry here. Make it a 2-2. Two -two. And attack this guy down. Okay, chase down. Do nothing, hold the Emperor. Emperor's not banned, right? I don't think so. I don't know. <laughs> uh, we can play through Make Disappear here, though, which is good. So we might as well Liliana. And plus. Seems decent to me. Let's do it. Auto pay, see if they have a hard counter. No stick at all. That's pretty interesting. Okay. Probably don't need the land. We'll get more lands eventually. Go for the throw. It's not that useful either, though. Drag to the bottom is also not useful. Uh, they might have little tokens we want to sweep up eventually. We're not sure. Go for throw. It's cheap, though. We'll get rid of drag to the bottom. Vanquish the Horde. They also have sweepers. All right. That's all for this turn. Eventually, we could Liliana ult them. Found in the third path, they're going to mill us? I guess they're the mill deck. Well, that's interesting. It means we do not have infinite time. They do mill us. All right, so that's what's going on. So we need to win sooner rather than later. 41 cards. Sunset Reverie. They do have some tokens now. Oh, they don't. They don't have the creatures. Okay. This is more of an issue now. We do need creatures. They haven't shown any creature removal yet. Continue to plus. That's fine. I don't think we need to go for the throw anymore. We'll keep the land and the cycle land. Sunfall. Well, a lot of sweepers going down. We are going to make a creature to attack with, though. Okay. We can play this land for turn. And hold the tower to cycle. Instant sorcery. Copy the Revelry. Okay, that's kind of interesting. Could minus again. We are almost up to uh, Liliana ult. Actually, we are up to Liliana ult. We cut out half their lands. How good is that? How greedy are we? They scoop. Hmm. Yeah, we could drown in the Iker and then just ult immediately and then lose Liliana. But set them back to three lands. It's not bad. Okay, cool. First game, uh, first talking game in like a month and a half. Yikes. On the play, looks good to me. Do we need cut down on one? We might, we probably don't need augury on two. We can go uh, tap land on two. 
Yeah, that's a target I don't mind killing. Let's get rid of you. Alright, tap land on two is just fine. Set up for Jace on three into the augury. Maybe a sweeper off drag to the bottom. Another visitor. Another cut down. I think I'd rather get Jace in this turn though. Maybe set up to sweep next turn if we can hit the land. Alright, hopefully they don't make anything too, too big this turn. Plus there. You can be made to obey. Ossify. Can that take Planeswalkers? Hmm. That's not good. I don't like that. Well, we can augury into land. We don't need the land just yet. Let's see what they do. Naturalist. Okay, yeah, we'll kill this guy now, I suppose. Naturalist is bad, though. Gotta kill that next turn. Audacity. Alright. You got it. Swing for four. Next turn. <sighs> Go for the throw. It's not bad. Land isn't bad in general. Just take your, keep taking removal, though. It's hard to lose. We land eventually. A lot of drowns. Okay. I mean, we could forcibly hit land now. We'll need it eventually. Let's just go for the throat. We want to do it now, though. We use one of these. We don't want to give them the ramp. Um, they do get the draw here. We want to save go for the throat in case they build something too big for drowning the Iker. Hollowed haunting. That's an issue. Given that we're not putting on, putting on any pressure. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. All right. I mean, maybe we'll take the land at this point. We're not hitting it organically. There's a land or a fiend. Liliana's not bad, though. We attempted to just take Liliana, right? We're going to hit land eventually. Let's take her. Okay. It's a siege. It's not an enchantment by itself. Does not trigger the haunting. They go get an audacity, do nothing else. We hit the next land anyway. And we can live on in plus here. I think we'll drop go for the throat. I'll agree and drown the Iker seems pretty good with Liliana. Hollowed Haunting Part 2. It's definitely an issue. Is this a drown target though? If we need it. Let's start with an augury. Kaito. We can play all this stuff next turn. What are we going to drop? We can drop drag to the bottom here. We're gonna, we might want drag to the bottom. Maybe we drop the land and take, take Kaito for a guaranteed play next turn. Uh, I guess we can make this stronger to kill. Sure. Yeah. Seems good. We'll take land for turn. We don't have to drown on the Iker at, at all, actually. We can just plus here instead. Minus and sack isn't bad either. Okay, so we're no longer looking at the Liliana ult, per se. We're just going to get Kaito in proliferation and um, try to grind them that way. There's Calyx. This could be a good drag to the bottom turn, as long as nothing is bigger than four. Katilda's big. But everything is still smaller than four, so we should be fine here. No need to plus. This should kill everyone. Nice. Not really a reason to plus. Drop off a card. I'm fine to just chill here for a second. Run back to Tilda. They need something to target, though. It's another enchantment that gives them something to target with. Get two more of those guys. Game is definitely not over yet. We have double drowns if we want it. Or single drown. Probably single drown here. So let's get Kaito. And minus is fine. And we'll have you sack one of these guys. And drown the other. 
proliferate everyone. Not bad. Discard the visitor. Naturalist tap. Can play this thing back if they want. We can Liliana minus. But they get two more enchantments. Ay ay ay. It's a 10 10. It is a 10 10. So we need an answer. So we're going to take the Kaito draw. I don't mind having a blocker back. So maybe we just take the draw discard here first. Without needing to attack. That is not an answer. Although it is a blocker. So we're going to lose someone this turn. We can still start here. Take all the proliferates. And might as well minus, I guess. See who they decide to pick off, including their own uh, Theros God. Okay. That's all we got. This guy's not blocking anyone, so uh, we'll get in there for one. Opponent is almost through their timer. They have an Osvi. Their draw has been pretty good, not gonna lie. It's not like they've run out of gas at any point. Despite playing Hollowed Haunting, which is basically a dud unless you actually draw into enchantments, they've done a good job of that. Okay, well, you're dead. Oh, that's, my cue to leave. that's my cue to leave. She's not wrong. Let's see if they go after Invasion or Kaito. They want the Invasion, which is what? They get an indestructible thing? Okay. You got it, man, man. Exile it, transform it. Okay. Hallowed Haunting across the board. My move. Hmm. That's not it. We're probably not gonna need to block anyway. So we'll get that free attack in here. So we need a sweeper now. And then separately we also need... We also need a... Uh, go for the throat. That's not it. We'll try again. So now it has to be the sweeper right here. It's not. Jace doesn't do it either, so... That is a scoop. Okay. That's how it goes sometimes. Two lander on the draw. I still think we can keep this. We do have one basic for drag to the bottom. If we need to minus two someone. Golgari. Well, we'll hold open cut down. We're gonna need that third land drop very soon though. Oh goodness, what does this do? Two mana one one reach death touch? What? What do I do with this? Why? What is going on? Is that meta now? <laughs> I don't know. All right, still another third land on the draw. We got one more turn to hit it. Otherwise, we're going to start to be pretty sad. Tap land. Ooh, Argoth. Lone Speaker ramping. Okay. We have to augury to try to hit land, so we need to do it now. There's the land. All right, land for turn. Okay, five mana available. See what they can ramp into. They make you into an elemental and attack. And they play out a burrowing razor maw. When it dies, mill four cards. If we lose, we're gonna be pretty sad about it, I think. We could plus them to the razor maw here. I can still power up the land and attack down Chase then. It's gonna be a fast land, which is too bad. Next turn we can drive to the bottom most things. Let's see if we can get him to lose a Loam Speaker and then drag to the bottom something next turn. We'll just go one for one here. It's okay. Jace isn't feeling super strong in this moment. Alright, sack a creature. Okay, they lose you. They do get to mill. And they have a Skyfisher Spider in here. Second of the creatures, which are non-land permanent. Interesting. Okay. Power you up again. Attack down a little. It's kind of weird. Why not just attack with the Loam Speaker? Well, it goes down. Galissa. That's not great either. Alright, we need something to get dragged to the bottom going. Kaito is immune for one turn, which isn't bad. Go ahead and make the ninja. 
Phases out. Your defenses aren't even there. Dude, our defenses aren't even there. Come on, man. We gotta we gotta shore up our side of the battlefield here. Alright, coming in hot with the 3-3. Three, three. Ooh. Oh goodness. What does this thing do? Whenever it attacks. Creature craft your graveyard. We need to block anything. Blocking Gliss is not bad. If we attack, we get to draw for free. Drawing discarding isn't that bad. I think we keep him off the draw here. We don't mind discarding, you know, some stuff here. It's not the land, it's not the land we need. We really do want to draw a discard. So let's start with that. Okay, that's that's something actually. We definitely don't need all the drag to the bottoms. Discarding one kind of gives away we have the next one. But that's fine. I'd rather keep Jace for the draw power, I suppose. We can kill Gliss or kill this thing. I guess it's got to be the Terror. Okay. Land for turn. We can do a mini Jace here. Down to 10. We might just draw... Maybe plus and see if they make a mistake. Now we have to kill the terror before it enters combat, right? We're just looking for the sweeper here. We're just looking for the tri land to sweep. Hmm. Okay. I still think we have to kill this thing now. At least before combat. Proliferate a bit. Short tire creature planeswalker. Alright, still swinging through. Three at a time. Glissa should go face. They both go face. Eat six. Remove three counters. That's good too. Don't usually see that mode. At least with respect to Planeswalkers. Down to four. We draw into a Veraska. We'd have to pay two for that. Kill the Glissa. Die. Drag to the bottom. Only minus two right now. It's got to be double go for the throat, I suppose. Want to do it on their turn. But we need to kill the Loma Speaker now before they power up something. This one's got to happen now. I guess that means I can get back the uh, the two one now, but that's okay. Another one of these guys. Not a particularly heroic game by us. Go ahead and kill this guy now. But now drag to the bottom does kill both. They have the mana to get back the skeleton though, but we have the cut down again. So I guess it all works out as long as we open up with one one black here. Yeah, should be fine. There goes minus two, minus two. They get another of the skull guys, that's bad. Nope, they just have the one though. They play you back. We have to wait till their turn because a non-creature, uh, non-skeleton still died this turn. If we do it again, they just play it back, I think. Uh oh. Alright, only as a sorcery. Create a bear. Keep on milling. Just creature card in your graveyard. Okay, let's hope they don't have Tyvar stand. I kind of feel like they don't. But there is a stick now. They have only a double black, though. Alright, we still have to deal with the bear. We still have to deal with this card. Let's land. Frask is not bad. Make the creature a treasure. Seems okay. They can keep running back bears every turn, but that's not the end of the world. Yeah, it's probably you. Full price. Alright, you turn into a treasure. Overwhelming remorse, exiled, okay. We live another day, though. Here comes the next set of bears, infinite bears. They're at 27 cards, still wild to mill. We can't really kill these things because then the conscript comes back and kills us. That's not a bad draw, but I think we just Jason plus. We can just kill it on their turn, I guess. Let's mill them. Let's see, that's 15 cards actually. That's an interesting win con, but let's start here. Behold the multiverses in there. Alright, that's a lot of cards. One of them is a lounge, which is nice. Okay, we can cycle the lounge on their turn. 
Actually, I have to kill the bear regardless. Well, we're in it now. Uh-oh. <laughs> That's not good. <laughs> I don't think we're running Spell Pierce. All right, let's see what you got. We're down to 13 cards. How bad could it be? Well, it doesn't have haste. We're still doing okay. If Jace survives this turn, we could uh, look for the draw three, try to hit the next Jace, and just mail him out from minus 15 to zero. Okay, they got a Teferi, and this thing has haste, so that's game. <laughs> and then minus two, and it has ward, and we can't kill all the things at once, so uh, yeah. Unless they attack Jace for some reason. So, that is game. I guess we'll give him a good game? I don't know. <laughs> I think the matchmaker tried to throw us a bone there, and we just, we whiffed it. <laughs> yes, good game. All right. Okay, that was something. That was a game of magic. On the draw, looks good to me. Keep this. Mono red. Sawblade scamp. Haste. Cast a non-creature spell. Oil counter. Remove oil counter. One damage each opponent. Okay. I don't know if we need to cut that down necessarily. Let's see what else they got. Is it? Hmm. All right, is it spells? Please don't litter. Iconoclast, that's definitely what we want to kill instead. Happy to do that now. All right, you're dead. We could, um, could augury here to try to hit more land. Don't think we need to kill the scamp now. Mechanized warfare. All right, you got it. Stealing more damage now. Okay, we could augury for land. We don't have to though. We really don't have to do anything here. I think we just play Jason Plus for the most part. Hmm. Drown's not bad. Land for turn. We'll do a mini Jace here. And if they have another hasty creature, it'll hurt a little bit, but it's okay. All right, you're dealing zero damage now. Another scamp, it is hasty. It's gonna deal, what, three damage, two damage? Goodness, what does that do? What is this thing? Can we cast a non-creature spell, put plus one, okay. All right, they can still tap this, so it's gonna be a big Drown of the Ike return. They go face, down to 10. We hit land, which is great. We can minus. We don't need to plus, although it does keep it out of death range. We're gonna need a lot of proliferation counters though. So should be okay, maybe. Let's take the draw. Land is okay. Let's not take pain land damage if we can afford it. Drown you. Submit. Drown you. Submit. Not bad. Flame Breather. We're down to 10. Gleeful Demolition. Okay. Down to 8. They create 3 of these things. That's not great. Drawing to a Sweeper would be huge. Augury's too expensive. I think we'll start with a draw here. Nope, not a Sweeper. How good is Teferi? I think we really want to kill the Flame Breather here. There's a lot of damage, six damage too. It's very just trades, really. I think it's an augury right now. Cut down is good. Let's take that. Do we need to augury again to look for a sweeper? I think it's better than playing a uh, one of these guys. Let's kill the flame breather now, and we take six to the face. And we hope they don't have the last little, little bit of damage, which I totally could. Okay. Show it to me. Two cards in hand. Anything with haste. Any lightning strike. Alright, so they have another non-creature spell is the question. They do. Gleeful Demolition. Okay, I think that's game? This doesn't do damage yet, so we just take six here. Unless they go after Jace. Nope, they go face. Okay, eat six, drop to two. Sweeper would be good. Soren, there's the sweeper. 
Gotta take the sweeper. Submit. Keep drawing. This uh, only target creature. All right, we can't take out the warfare. It's too bad. Keep drawing off of you. Uh oh. <laughs> Gave him an extra card there. All right. It's gotta be a sweeper regardless. Play one of these guys tapped. All right, they get some decent draws here though. Only three lands. Let's see if they can find lethal. Soren would have been good. Does not have haste. I think we need the cut down for someone with haste. So I think we're gonna drown this turn. I think there's a way to sequence it better. Could just plus onto the Mechanaut instead. Instead of trying to kill it. All right, maybe that's it then. Let's get a blocker down. Plus here. We seem to need more land, so we'll keep playing stuff out. Hold the cut down in case you need it against another hasty aggressor. There comes the unearth. Okay, three more goblins. Okay. We potentially kill all of them in the next couple turns, so we'll start here. You're dead. Blockers are good. Let's keep making blockers. Who's that handsome devil? We can do all this stuff this turn. Full price. Creature dead. I think drawing is fine. Draw three. Trigger everyone. Still down to two. These guys are big, though. Proliferate everyone. Swing with seven vigilance. They take the block. Okay. We don't know if they run Lightning Strike or play with fire. They've shown us zero so far. Synthesizer. Just to land. Could be game this turn. They do get a blocker out of the deal. Okay, we're just looking for removal and then we win. So it shouldn't be too bad. Start here. I guess the sweeper doesn't really do it. We'll take the cycle. They scoop. Yeah, we'll get there. Okay. I mean, it's not classic mono red, but still, I'll take a 2 to 18 victory. All right. Thank you for staying to the end. If you enjoyed today's video, please drop a like, a comment, and a subscribe. Have a great day, and I'll see you in the next one.